Jamaica is the third largest island of the Greater Antilles, along the Northern Caribbean Sea. The Greater Antilles straddle the northern boundary of the Caribbean plate, a mostly oceanic plate that moves 2 cm per year eastward with respect to the North American plate. In this region, the Caribbean plate is broken into at least four microplates, as the North American Caribbean plate boundary changes from frontal subduction at the Lesser Antilles Trench, to oblique subduction at the Puerto Rico Trench, to oblique collision at the Northern Hispaniola Trench, and finally, to strike slip in the Cayman Trough. The Gunnar of Microplates stretches from the Cayman spreading center on the west to western Hispaniola on the east. The north and south boundaries of the Gunnar of Microplate are dominantly left lateral strike slip faults with rates of motion about 1 cm per year. Most of the earthquakes occur on or near the Microplate boundaries. Two recent major earthquakes emphasize how proximity to population centers control human impact. The January 12, 2010 magnitude 7 earthquake near Port-au-Prince caused over 100,000 fatalities. Although the January 28, 2020 magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake on the Orient Fault released 20 times more energy, its location far from populated islands resulted in minimal impact and no fatalities. Notice the offset between the Henry Quayle Planting Garden Fault in southeast Jamaica and the Walton Fault in northwest Jamaica. This is a restraining bend in the left lateral strikes the fault system along the southern edge of the Gunnav microplate. As left lateral strike slip motion progresses, an overlap or collision between the blocks develop in the bend. This overlap becomes a zone of thrust and strike slip faulting between the crustal blocks. Over millions of years, displacement between the Gunnav microplate and the Caribbean plate in the restraining bend has broken the oceanic crust of Jamaica into blocks separated by strike slip and thrust faults. Resulting uplift is responsible for Jamaica being an island and is continuing to raise the Blue Mountains. We see that active faulting and recent seismicity are concentrated on the planting garden and Blue Mountain faults in southeast Jamaica and, to a lesser extent, along the central Jamaica fault system. Major destructive earthquakes occurred in 1692 and 1907. The epicenters are not well located, but occurred within or adjacent to eastern Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica's largest city, like Port-au-Prince, is underlain in many areas by unconsolidated sands and gravels. Port Royal, described as the most important English city in the New World, and one of the wickedest places on earth, was home port for many true pirates of the Caribbean. By early 1692, the population of 6,500 occupied the 2,000 buildings. Then on June 7, 1692, an earthquake estimated at magnitude 7.5 struck. Ground shaking, liquefaction, and lateral spreading combined with submarine landslide so that two-thirds of the town sank into the sea, and resulting tsunamis washed over the sunken and damaged buildings. About 2,000 people were killed immediately by the earthquake and the tsunami, with many victims entombed in sand and liquefied during ground shaking, then solidified when ground shaking stopped. An additional 3,000 deaths followed from injuries and a disease. Port Royal was partially rebuilt, then mostly destroyed by a fire in 1703, and Kingston became the major city. By the early 1900s, Kingston had grown to a population of 60,000. Then on January 14, 1907, a magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck the city. The greatest intensity of ground shaking, liquefaction, and the damage occurred in the business and harbor district where over 80% of buildings were destroyed. In addition to destruction from effects of ground shaking, seishis or standing waves occurred in Kingston Harbor, resulting in seawater inundating areas near the shoreline. Tsunami is likely caused by submarine landslides that severed communications cables reached 2 meters height on northern shores. This earthquake caused 800 to 1,000 fatalities. In the succeeding 117 years, Kingston has grown to over 1 million people, and the population of Jamaica is approaching 3 million. Since 1907, Jamaica has experienced only 6 to 8 moderate to strong earthquakes, 
Yet, Jamaica is cut by a strike slip and the thrust falls that, at any time, can produce major earthquakes like the 2010 Haiti earthquake.